Hello, hello, welcome to ArcPoint. My name is Marcus, and today we're going to be teaching you the basics of creating a custom character slash your own custom equipment in Core. Okay, let's go. First thing we're going to do is open up community content. We're going to type in multiplayer, and we're going to download this multiplayer costume example by Riffraff. So slapping that into our project, double clicking and drag and drop. And we're greeted with this. So this is the mannequin. And then once we press play, uh, we're gonna see that the costume appears over it. You can press F to wear and F to unequip. And that's when you overlap with the trigger. Now we're going to modify the costume that comes with this. So we're gonna go to project content. We're gonna press this little arrow underneath imported content multiplayer costume example and we're going to click on the dependencies this is everything that this CC requires to run and so we're going to get this costume geo client context and that is the costume that comes with the CC so if we look in the hierarchy we're going to notice that there is quite a lot of groups. This is a group for every single socket on the player character, such as the head, the neck, and the clavicles, shoulders, all of that stuff, because it attaches these pieces to the character. So the first thing we're going to do is de-instance it, and then open up these folders. Uh, they're actually groups, but yeah. So we can edit these and change these, so we're going to just make this guy have a smiley face and perfect done we can name it costume geocline context 2 and now we're going to take a look back at this mannequin so if we click on it, we can notice that there are some properties in the bottom corner. You can have the option to apply to all players on join uh, when they enter the game. You can have the costume hide the player, the, the default player, or you can have it not. And then we can have it use uh, the trigger overlap. So instead of having to go up to it and press F, you can instead just walk over it and it'll apply it to you or unequip it from you as you enter that. And then you can also hide the mannequin by pressing this last button. But what we're interested in is the costume geo. This is where you put the template. So back to my templates. And we have the costume geo client context too. I'm just going to drag and drop that in. And now instead of the default, it has our smiley face man. Perfect. And that's the basics of creating a custom costume slash equipment in Core. Uh, creating a costume can take time and effort, but hopefully with some tips and tricks I'm about to tell you, uh, that'll hopefully speed up your process. First tip is you can select between group selection and object, object selection. Group selection means you select the entire group, such as like all these costume pieces. But if you switch it to object and click somewhere, it selects that single object. It is uh, the selection mode I use the most. And this leads on to the second thing. Generally, you want camera collision off and collision forced off on your objects in the costume. This is because you don't want your player camera colliding with, say, the back of your head. Uh, usually it can get in the way, such as clipping so that your camera is here instead of where it should be. And yeah, the third tip is that you can use a animated mesh under core content, such as the human guy, as a model. So the humans and the player characters are generally the same size, so they're just used for four knowing the player dimensions in general. 
Uh, but first you're going to want to change the stance to unbinded, unarmed bind pose. This just makes it into the default state. And then you can work off that pose. Uh, you're going to want to lock the human so you can't click on them first though. Uh, another tip is that if you don't have to start from scratch, I'd really suggest not. So for instance, when creating the hazard pay costumes, I didn't have too much time. So I actually used the Star Hopper costume by Witcher Silver as a base for the assault class in Hazard Pay. Uh, I stripped off the armor and then I added my own. Since I'm not good with uh, organic geometry, it made and sped up my process significantly. There are plenty of other costumes on community content you can modify and adapt just to make things a lot faster. Oh yeah, just like all other arts, you can apply decals and effects onto the costumes. Uh, they'll move around with the socket that they've been attached to, so you might not want overlapping decals, because then it will look a bit weird. Kind of like that. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you out on your journey to create your very own custom character and core. And if you've got a cool idea for a costume that you want to create, or that you will be creating, let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow for more information slash tutorials slash cool stuff, hopefully. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye. Cool, Bob. Let's go.